Hello, Mrs. Meisen here, and I just want to talk to you about any future opportunities you would have if you were to study art, craft and design, photography or fashion and textiles at GCSE. Um, there are many opportunities following um, an arts foundation. And when I talk about arts foundation, I mean art, photography or textiles. Having that sort of foundation um, means that you could go on and specialise at a later date. So you could go on and study um, study art, photography, textiles at uh, post-16 level. Um, you could go to college and specialise, and you certainly specialise when you get to university. So, for example, if you wanted to be an architect, having an art subject um, as your foundation would mean that you can then specialise later on when you do your degree. If you want to be an illustrator, that is something you would specialise in at university but having your GCSE um, means that you have already got a base of skills that will can be built upon later on. You may have seen this in the art department but we've got many um, careers um, showcased in our display and there are so many different things you could do you know whether you want to be a concept artist for computer games or whether you want to become a, um, a fashion designer or um, get into marketing or illustration or children's books or whether you want to work in a gallery or a museum or whether you want to teach there are so many different opportunities that um, the arts careers could um, build that foundation for. Photography itself, there are many careers um, that you can take from specialising in photography. For example, you could become a fashion photographer or a forensic photographer and work for the police force. Um, maybe get into sports or portrait photography. Maybe you, you would look into scientific or photojournalism. There are so many opportunities to use those skills at a later date. Um, and the same with textiles. You know, the, the textiles industry is huge. We all wear clothes, we all buy clothes. So so, you know, becoming an accessory designer or a fashion historian or a magazine editor or um, a teacher or an artist in residence or somebody who deals with stage design or toy design. There are so many different things um, that you could specialise in at that later date. The creative industries are huge and I know this year has been a very, very strange one, but I have no doubt that it will bounce back again. Um, it brings in a huge amount of money into our economy each year and there are so many ways you can use your creativity in your work. It's also um, something that other employers recognise. So even if it's something you wouldn't necessarily go and specialise in at a later date in your career, it is definitely something that um, businesses look for. So chief, chief executives of top companies talk about creativity being one of its biggest skills that it looks for in its workforce. And it's a really important one um, looking forward in how the economy and how um, we as human beings and workers are changing. Um, creativity is definitely central to what they're looking for. It's also something that builds our personal skills. They call these soft skills, but I don't think they're soft at all. But this, this ability to be independent, to be resilient, to be able to take criticism and work and develop something new, to be curious. All those things are so important with anybody. And it also is something that makes you happy. And I think happiness is definitely underrated. And if you can be happy in your work, you are a very, very lucky person. I'm just going to show you now a short video, hopefully this will work, um, which, just, which showcases all the creative industries that you might want to consider.
Okay, so they are so many things that you could do with a foundation in one of these creative subjects. If you want to talk to any of your teachers, um, myself and Miss Church would be delighted to talk to you at any time. Po either send us an email or pop up and see us in the art department. Um, but good luck and hopefully we'll see you next year. Bye bye. <laughs>